Bible. If you don't believe in it, that's a different thing. Obviously, there's something that God knows that we don't know, but that's what He's Sorry, made no, us. Okay? okay, listen. If God has made a condition that He cannot forgive you unless He never said He can't forgive us. Well, it says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. So unless you, either you're not reading yeah, or understanding what the Bible is saying, maybe the spirit, the, the, the sin on yourself. Same thing. So it's a, it's, there's no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Do you agree with that statement or disagree? Because that's from your Bible. You're me agree to disagree. <laughs> you're agreeing to disagree with the Bible. That statement is not mine, it's from the Bible. Okay. So you agree to disagree with the Bible. You don't understand. I didn't say I do agree to disagree. So either you agree or disagree. No, I said you're asking me to agree. I just yeah. questions. Like, I'm asking you, do you agree with this statement from the Bible? Which says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Okay. Do you agree with this statement or disagree with this statement? Yeah, that's God's way. Agree. You agree, good. So now, the question which I've been asking asking you all along that you cannot be forgiven without the shedding of blood is true it's from the it's from the bible you see in uh, if you if you read for example certain passages in the bible for example it says here then david said to nathan do you believe that do you remember david when he committed adultery he was forgiven by god you remember that passage in the bible you mean in the in the old testament the, in the old testament old testament is the bible yeah. okay that's what i mean yeah, yeah. so it says yeah, it's, the bible is the bible yeah that's what i'm saying so it says here then david said to nathan i have sinned against the lord nathan replied the lord has taken away your sin you're not going to die yes so jesus wasn't there during the time of david jesus wasn't born yet so nathan is saying the Lord has taken away your sin. You are not going to die. You know what that means? Obviously, we know that David died. He's not immortal, right? What it means is that he'll not have an eternal death. That means he's going to live, he's going to be saved. Without any sacrifice of an animal or that of a human, he was forgiven. Which goes against your statement that you, God cannot just forgive you. Actually, he did in the case of David. I'll give you more statements from the Bible if you want. It says here, then I acknowledge, this is from Psalm 32, 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my trans transgression to the Lord and you forgive the guilt of my sin. So again, God forgives a sin without any sacrifice. This is Psalm 32, 5. I'll give you more if you want. Is in Isaiah 1 18 to 19. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Again, God is telling you that if you are obedient, then you will have good things of the land there's no mention of any uh, any uh, what do you say punishment there uh, another passage again uh, let's read something from the new testament okay actually in new testament there's this thing there's there's this hebrews 9 22 sorry it wasn't 22 9 it was hebrews 9 22 where it says there's no forgiveness without the shedding of blood you see in islam we have the concept of repentance and forgiveness yes it says kullu bani adam katta that means every child every son of adam that means every human being commits sins yes commits errors but the best amongst them yes is the one who repents that means whenever we commit sin we should repent to god we shouldn't be um we shouldn't be arrogant we shouldn't be like saying oh it doesn't matter we should be regretting that and repenting yes and, and if that is the case what i mean is that we don't yeah what we what, I, what i'm saying is that we don't say that there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood but for you the condition of shedding of blood is something that you cannot get away from we don't have any human being shedding blood for us we can ask god directly to repent we have no middleman like jesus to shed blood for us well he did already yeah but we don't believe that <laughs> he did it for you we don't believe it either yes so this is the main 
the crux of the matter. What I'm saying is that you believe in the, you believe in some parts of the gospel and then some parts you don't believe. No, in fact, we don't believe. We don't need to believe. Even if we don't have any of the gospel, we have the Quran. So everything that came before. Yeah, the Quran told you to go to the Injil and, and to go to the Christians and ask them, and right. they will explain. To what does you the Injil mean? And tell you about the Messiah. Yeah. What does the Injil mean? Tell you. It doesn't say that, but what does the Injil mean? Injil means the revelation that was given to Jesus. Yes, the gospel that you are given. For example, according to Mark, according to Luke. I'm not talking to you if you don't mind. I'm, I'm just talking to. According to Matthew, according to Luke, sorry, according to Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. It doesn't say any gospel is according to Jesus. Yeah. So it's a third person. It's a third person speaking here. Yes. So what I'm saying is that Jesus Himself speaking or His gospel being preached. Yes. What is that? So you're trying to say to me that Jesus? I'm saying Injil is not that. Jesus didn't write the gospel. Is that what you're trying to say? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying the revelation that came to Jesus is not gospel according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to Luke. Okay. Because who's Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John? Yes. Allah doesn't mention them. Allah mentions Isa alayhi salam. Allah mentions the son of Mary, which is the Messiah, which is Jesus, which you call it. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Luke wasn't a disciple. Trust me. Luke wasn't a disciple, neither was Mark. So don't say they're disciples. And even then he's saying according to. So it's a third person who is saying Mark, Matthew, Luke and John wrote. It's not by Mark. So if it Mark wrote it, then it's a by Mark. But this is somebody else making the claim that it was written by Mark or written by Matthew. We don't even know who those guys were. So I know, I understand what you're saying. But you know, if like you're, if you're saying if Jesus came all the time, so he came to the. the okay, this is the reason why the Bible was taken into already because the way that the man. If, if Jesus is look, if Jesus is claiming to be God. Oh yeah, by the way, you said the first and the last. I said I'll get I'll get back to you on that. Do you know there's a do, do you know that there is someone in the Bible? You heard of Malchus? They have Muhammad. Do you know Melchizedek said that according to Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 it says he has no beginning of days, no end of time. No mother, no father, no genealogy. Do you believe he is God? You didn't hear. Hebrews, Hebrews, no you cannot. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 it says he has no beginning of days, no end of time, no genealogy, no mother, no father. This this person is talking about Melchizedek. Now, you talk about somebody else. Now, I'm talking about Melchizedek. But Jesus now, himself said that I'm the end, the first and the last. Yeah, but if he claimed it himself, no one said it about him. I know, but what I'm saying is that if you're going to worship Jesus because he said that, then you should also be worshipping Melchizedek because he said the same thing. No, he didn't. Someone said it about him. So would you not believe he's in the Bible? So you said someone else said Even if somebody else said about him, do you believe that he's in the Bible or not? Himself, he didn't claim that. He never claimed to be God. Only Jesus claimed that. There's hold, nobody else. Hold on, hold on. That. Are you saying that per, that passage is in the Bible or not in the Bible? No, I'm saying to you that you told me that somebody else. I'm just taking what you're telling me. Yeah. That somebody else said that about him. Yeah. yeah. Is that the so, truth? So wait a second. So I'm taking it from you because I. I have it's not from me. It's from your Bible. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm taking your word that you're telling me. Okay. I'll show you to in the Bible. No, 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 I'm taking your word. So do you believe in? Yeah, I believe okay. what you're telling. So if you believe it's in the Bible, do you believe it's the truth? No. What I'm saying is, you're saying that someone else said. About him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jesus. Nobody else said it. Jesus claimed to be God himself. No, he never claimed to be. God. Yes, he did. No. Yes, he did. By and, saying. And on the final okay. day, we'll all. So can I we'll can I ask you something? If you believe Jesus said it himself, yeah. that he is the Alpha and the Omega, yeah. and that makes and him the God. And the I listen, am. listen. That means God in Hebrew. Listen. We'll come to the I am passage. No problem. I am the I am. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. Do you believe that the whatever is in the Bible is the truth? The Bible is the truth. Yeah. So whatever is in the Bible is the truth. Whatever is in the Bible, is it the truth? Because nobody can change the word of God. I know, but is it the truth according to you? Yeah, because nobody can change okay, good. the word of God. So what I told you about Melchizedek, is that the truth? I'm taking your word. I didn't. It's in the Bible. If you don't believe me, go home and check it. That's what I said. I took your word. Okay. So let's say it's. I have to go. I know. Let's say it's in the Bible. Okay. Last last statement. We can discuss. I am later if you want to. Last statement. If Jesus said he is Alpha and Omega, and the Bible claims that Melchizedek is has no beginning of days.
there's no end of time, does it make Melchizedek God? No, because you know what? He never claimed to himself. And Jesus is the only one that ever claimed to be God. And nobody else in history has ever done it. Even today, nobody has done that. Only Jesus, because he's the truth, the, the life, and the way. And there's no other way to the heaven except through him. If you don't want to take that, you don't. that's for you, okay? But if you don't take that, you can never get to that bridge to the heaven. Because you have sin in your soul, and the only one that's going to take that from you is Jesus. So you're saying... Isa, and if you so you're saying only human sacrifice can save you? Isn't that a bit no, pagan? No, it's not just because of sacrifice. The Messiah. Can you be saved without the no, sacrifice? You can't be saved without the Messiah. Without the sacrifice, can you be saved? You can't be saved without the Messiah. And he's coming no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There were people before, there were people before the Messiah, hold on. There were people before Messiah, like David, who was saved without the Messiah. So your statement is... Saved to where? Saved means he'll have eternal life. Yeah, we're talking about the whole nation of the world. talking about David. You made a statement, no one can be saved. Without the Messiah, I gave you. Talking about wait, the wait, wait. World. I gave you an example from the Bible the where world. David was saved without the Messiah. Us so your statement now, goes out the window. Now in the future, now in the future, none of us will be saved unless it's through Jesus. It's up to no, you. No, that is. Or leave wait, 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 wait. Like, Jesus, can I say like? hold on. Jesus also said in Matthew 7, 21, 22 that not everyone who calls him Lord, Lord, will be saved. Yes, but only those who follow the commandment of the Father. Yes, only those who obey the Father. Well, also people. Do you obey the Father? <laughs> Do you keep the laws of the Father? <laughs> no, you I'm, don't. I'm just laughing at <laughs> that, That's in the Bible again. I don't think you have read the Bible. In Matthew 7:21. Well, you, you just, you just said, you just judged me and said, no, I don't. How you know what I do? Okay, and which you know, law of the Father do you keep? Another thing, I, I can't follow everything because, like I said, we need someone to save us. Everybody. Why? Even you, because we, we're sinners. We can't. Why don't you believe in the forgiveness of God? Even if I follow God now, you can always make a mistake. Yes or no? You that is where you. You don't have faith in God. But, but can you not make a mistake? I've already told you. Every human. No, have you not? Sins. Got, wait, wait. No, you you asked me. I said you can't. You can never get like. I mean, you can't make not make a mistake. I you never know? said I. Can't. We can't be perfect to follow God. We all. I never said I was perfect. But we all want to follow God. Yeah, but that's the point. That's why we have Jesus. I have faith in God that He's able that. to forgive you without the sacrifice of an God animal or a human being. Just follow Jesus and you'll be fine. <laughs> no, but that is a preaching. Now you're preaching. It's not in the Bible. Jesus said, "Those who follow, those who." Obey my father. Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will be saved. Will will uh, will be in the kingdom, uh, kingdom of uh, heaven. Yeah. Yes, but only those who obey the father. Do you obey the father? I try my best. Okay. So, <laughs> like, like we all do. You well, know what Jesus said. You in God. Do you know what Jesus says next? That there are many who. Uh, who well, cast they, out? They, they no, no. There are many who cast out demons in my name. Yeah. And, and there are many who, who perform miracles and I'll in my tell name. Them I don't know them. Like wait, wait. people like that said, yes. Jesus, and they don't yes. know. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. So you saying that if you follow, if you follow Jesus and you believe in Him, then you'll be saved. But Jesus Himself is saying, unless you obey the Father, you cannot be saved. So he didn't make. He didn't say only those who follow the Father and the Son. He said no, obey the Father only, and then you'll be saved. He never. Now we, he never said obey the Father only. He, okay, he has to follow what he says. Let's see what the Bible says then. Because you, I think what you're saying is not from the Bible. What you're saying is from your own preaching. All right. At the end of the day, we go by what. Reason. <laughs> You're Irish, you should be used to the cold. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, less, it's more cold, I'm assuming. Uh, so let's look at Matthew. This is one of the Gospels, yeah? You believe in the Gospel of Matthew? Of course. Yeah? Matthew 7, 21. Alright, here is it. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven means paradise, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Does it say Jesus anywhere there? No, the will of, yeah, the will is the same. He do the will of his Father. Is Jesus not coming doing the will of the yeah, Father? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're following so the will of the Father. No, no, what, Jesus what you're doing, us. but hear me out. Yeah, what I you're doing and what Jesus did is to follow the will of the Father, not the will of Jesus. But the will of the Father is Jesus because he's, he's the one that's talking from God. But that's, you're agreeing with me now. You have to, ultimately, it's the no, will no, of the wait, Father. Wait, wait a second. Is Jesus not doing the will of the Father? He is. Well, then I'm that, that, so then he's he obeying the Father, you yeah. have to obey the Father as well. Yeah, but where he's telling and then he says, the Father. Okay, why does he 
say not everyone who says to me Lord Lord what is wrong with calling Jesus Lord what well, he says here not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven if anyone calls Jesus Lord why will they not enter the kingdom of heaven according to your belief he's talking, no, he's talking about people that are saying they believe in him but they don't really know who he is where does it say like that here? You that's, your, that's your I say Jesus where does it say here like he's talking about you dude. no he didn't say that here that's your explanation that's not a part of the Bible no, that's what he means he means that people that say they believe in him but they don't know who he is okay like, let's see the next like statement you saying you know him but you didn't let's see the next statement so first he says not everyone who says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of the, the father who is in heaven the will of my father who is in heaven many will say to me on that day which day is that the last day the yeah, day of judgment day. many will say to me on that day Lord Lord did we not prophesy in your name mm -hmm. and in your name drive out the demons yeah. and in your name perform many miracles yes then I will tell them plainly I never knew you away from me you evil doers yeah. now tell me who calls Jesus Lord who does miracles in his names yeah. who cast out demons in his names and who does uh, one uh, wondrous things in his names yeah, he's who does this talk, other than the Christians he's talking about people that are doing the wrong things no, no. Like, that say they know him, but are these the Muslims the Jews the Hindus who are these people listen, who does things in the name of Jesus no, listen, he's saying that people that are not good they're using things and they're saying you know that's what it means whom is he addressing here let's find out that. whom is he addressing you tell me you're the one that knows you say you know what is your bible yeah it's yours too if Jesus it's not my bible you know from it's my yours. okay that's, that's for the world. why is not my bible trust no, me that's mine is the quran not the bible well that came for you no it you didn't have it came for you the, no it the didn't the quran came for me no the gospel came for you because that's the word of god it came for you so it's not my bible and it's not the bible it's the gospel and it came for you and for me okay i'm a muslim i follow the quran yeah okay. for your information i'm not a christian it's okay well you can claim that <laughs> the, okay here's my here's my take on this here the only people who I'm call jesus go. lord yeah that's fine the only people who call jesus it's lord nice talking to them. and who does miracles in his name and wonders of things in his name are the christians so jesus is addressing the christians that unless you follow the will of his father who is god almighty the god of jesus you will not enter the kingdom of heaven and all these people who do wondrous things and call him lord yes they will be rejected by jesus and they'll be the evil doers according to him now if you want to call jesus god that's up to you but he'll reject you as evil doers all right anyway nice talking said, to you he that yeah he does he says he all, never said that he's addressing the christians not words, the muslims you, or the hindus but you've, or the Jews. you've added words that you're not supposed to do but you've added that jesus said that he's talking about people that said he was god that does not say that there you don't imply, it does it look does, here oh not everyone who calls me lord lord no, that no, is god no, isn't no, it did, but did he turn around and say people that are calling me god no he says uh, that's the ones i'm talking about. actually here it is he does not say he says that. here many will <laughs> no you did not hear i think you words to, to okay the word of god. maybe you're feeling it's cold not, and you're not hearing you should never add words to god's word because that's that's called that's what corruption is you don't do that the number don't of times you did that lie. and i had to correct you on that no, no i'm correcting <laughs> you on that because okay. you know what don't do that but okay, okay. It's he like, says here yeah, many will say to me no you're saying i claimed it uh, yeah you can go away no problem but i just want to make this claim many will say to me on that day lord lord did we not prophesy in your name so he they are claiming lord lord so yeah. they're calling him my god my god no, did, nobody, did we no, not no, nobody saying that jesus was god i didn't say lord lord what does lord lord mean lord. many will say to me lord lord on that day many will say to me lord lord okay it means god did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons who does this other than christians no but he wasn't saying that because you saying i'm god i'm going to reject you he's talking about people that are doing wrong in the life and calling him lord even people that are, are it's at the very beginning not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven at the very beginning if you want to be in denial that's up to you but this is a fact you know jesus will reject those who claim that he is god and do not do the will of the father i ask the christians why do you always focus on the on, on jesus when he, jesus is always focusing on the father my father is greater than i as i hear i obey yeah i know it's it's, it's in denial unfortunately anyway uh thanks thanks a lot for